Voilà, voilà. Viens les fois, viens les fois. C'est eux qui Good afternoon, everyone. How's everybody doing? Great? All right. I hope I do this song justice. And uh, yeah, let's go. Work 
would like to call on Miss Melissa Fleming, who will give her rendition of her poem, 1648-1863. Please welcome Melissa Fleming to speak. Good morning, or oh, good afternoon. I will hear from mom, you have me apologizing. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, and I'm so humbled to be here. Thank you all, and happy St. Martin's Day to each and every one of you. 1648, Concordia, 1863. St. Martin. Wise is the man that whom seeketh not to chase after a shadow that is merely a reflection of what is perceived to be reality. Gather around, gather around. Let us be reminded. Let us be reminded of the Concordia there's a cause. For she speaks of the harmony that we have longed for, but never fully belong to. For it is clear as the sky that washes over us, the mountain of imbalances that rises amidst us while mirages of true harmony down trots and eludes our sights we gather around to remember we gather around to reaffirm on a day that marks in history of a history between two civilian states friends Holland, who sought to coexist in a decreed state of being on this here rock. Swaliga 1648 marks a pact, a pact that pronounced in itself of a parlay of cooperation, friendship, and alliance from day to date forward. To each one hand that shall wash the other. 1863 landmarks the Isle. Say Martin, say Martin. A birth given to a treaty and equity of so called balance, forging the understanding and the workings of fringes of which we are actors in today. Hmm. As we gather, dignify each year to commemorate this decree of cooperation the burning the burning the burning desire to cast aside doubts concerns and disquiets about why about why do we really need is but a resounding heartbeat at bay Wonder, wonder, what are we 
truly valuing and celebrating? Are we truly valuing our people? Are we truly valuing our people, our heritage, our culture, our togetherness? Have we at our grasp, have we at our grasp an opportunity to recapture through provisions that exist at our clutches where we can truly work together? Where we can truly work together? Where we can truly walk shoulder by shoulder? Where we can truly be each other's brother and sister under the correct context and not just some pretext. If we only set aside our reflexes to outflex each other and instead work on humble and modest objectives that will reinforce the spirit of unity long time coming. Togetherness and cooperation via the establishing of a body that will guide us gently to new horizons. So, we gather around to commemorate. We gather around to commemorate. Let us agree to start from today. Let us agree to start from today to foster the message that the Treaty of Concordia in our vision should be implemented in the principle that illustrates and protects our way of living, the way how we should unify this nation. Happy St. Martin Day. Today we are making a bit of history. As Prime Minister, together with my colleagues in the North, I stand humble before you by the outpouring, the awesome outpouring of positivity that has culminated in the celebration of we, St. Martin Day. This day of our land, our home, our heritage. This day of our people. Today we take the steps to make this day what was envisioned by doctors Claude Wati and Hubert Petty. And forgive me if I repeat a bit of what was said before, but the teacher and me knows repetition is how we learn. And once we've heard it about seven times, it becomes the mantra. So bear with us because we are learning. Those two icons saw what many did not see. And a few years ago, many also did not see. Because we did not seek to desecrate what they had started, but to add to it. And six years later, we are finally there. We are celebrating the oneness of Samaritan people. Celebrating Swaliga, celebrating Walichi, celebrating, as Rhoda will say, Simatin. Today, based on those steps, we honor those who came before us. Those
Protocol has been observed. Let me proudly say good afternoon to everyone. Before I can share a few comments with you this afternoon, let me pause to say thank you to my dear friend, Prime Minister. Right from the start, you were convinced that you were on the right path of history. And the proof is here. It is large gathering here this afternoon. So thank you for sharing that vision with me. Let me also say thank you to both protocol officers who work tirelessly making this event a total success this afternoon. So whether you're on the southern or the northern side, you're part of protocol, you're part of this organization. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And let me also say thank you to all those who won the midnight oil. They stayed until 2 o'clock last night organizing this venue for this event today. And I must, I must highlight the point of one person in particular. I mean, a lot of people were involved, but a particular person took a lot of it, that responsibility on the shoulders to make it all happen. Let's give Mary Evan Hannigan a round of applause. Mary Evan, wherever you are, a special thank you for your dedication and your commitment. You know what you have done to make this happen. And the team behind you, thank you as well. Before I could say a few words again, I was pleasantly surprised this morning when we gathered at the Methodist Church and I saw the car packed up. Comes out of that car, the Minister of Culture and his wonderful, lovely Sir Martin Oxy. Give him a round of applause as well. <laughs> Stand up there. <laughs> he embodied the symbol of cultural unity of this land. Thank you so much. Uh, Minister Samuel um, Samuel Rudolph. Thank you, sorry about that. Samuel Rudolph. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you this afternoon profoundly moved by this important gathering on this day, 11th of November 2022. Yes, it was said before me. It is indeed an exceptional day for us, the true lovers of St. Martin, this sweet St. Martin land. And what is most exceptional or historic about today is the fact that for the very first time in our history, elected officials from North and South have shown, have demonstrated, have exhi exhibited much courage, bravery, and they have taken a bold decision to embrace, after 32 years, the St. Martin Unity flag. This, this event is, in itself, a milestone in our development as a people. On this day, November 11, 2020,